Hi, hope you are well. In this video, we want to solve problem number 10 of Amy 2022, Amy 2, American Invitational Mathematics Examination. It is Mathematical Olympiad of America after AMC. If you pass AMC, then you participate Amy. So, we want to solve this problem with what identity, Zhu Shiji identity, or Hockeystick identity. Many students know Hockeystick's identity, but now I want to explain at first Hockeystick identity. If you know that, in my description, I explain from what time to what time I teach Hockeystick identity. So if you know that, you can use the timeline on my description. See from what time to what time I teach this and go straight forward to the part that you want to see the video okay so please don't forget to subscribe and let's solve this problem hikistic identity is what identity or you should it is r choose r plus r plus one choose r look all of them choose r start from r then r plus one r plus two r plus three to n it equal n plus one choose r plus one the students that don't know this is what you saw the special case of this identity, but you didn't know the name is that. Let me tell you. If we replace R with 1, then we will have what? 1 choose 1, plus 2 choose 1, plus 3 choose 1, plus 4 choose 1, up to N choose 1. And equal to N plus 1 choose 2. You saw all of you. So this identity, it is what? 1 choose 1 is 1, one cho 2 choose 1 is 2, 3 choose 1 is 3, 4 choose 1 is 4, n choose 1 is n, n plus 1 choose 2 is n plus 1 times n over 2, that's the formula, famous formula, 1 to n is n times n plus 1 over 2. So, hockeystick identity is so much useful in Many years of Amy, you see that in many years of AMC also for other Olympiads, SMO, you see that round one and some parts of round two in UK. So you should memorize this identity. But sometimes it has, for example, some a little different. You should, for example, we have some identity like this here. And we want to solve this by hockeystick identity. So we should change it to some other terms. To you can to be able to use hockeystick identity. Okay, if you want to prove hockeystick identity, the proof is by induction. I will leave this part as homework. Proof of hockeystick identity here. We don't need. We only want to use that, and also in the exam because it has your name. Also in round two, you can use that without any proof. So. If, if you had any question about the proof, feel free to send a message to my WhatsApp number in the description and comments. Now, let's start to solve our main problem. Okay, for solving the problem, we will see we have a little complicated term. For example, it is somehow we can say K choose 2 choose 2. And it will be what? It will be K choose 2 times k choose 2 minus 1 all over 2. Why we could use that? Because we know all of us m choose 2 is m times m minus 1 over 2 if we simplify. So m here is k choose 2, it will be this. Now, here k choose 2 is what again we use the same formula. It will be k times k minus 1 over 2 times k times k minus 1 over 2 minus 1 all over 2. So here we can say it is k times k minus 1 over 2. And here if we use common denominator and expand this k squared minus k minus what? Minus 2. All over 2. So we can say 2, 2, 2, 8, right? 1 over 8. And here we have k times k minus 1. Here I want to factorize. Can you guess we should factorize like what? Pause the video and try to factorize this part by yourself. 
Okay, it is what? It is k plus 1. Let's check. k minus 2. k squared minus 2 plus 1 minus k minus 2. So it will be k plus 1, k minus 2. So here we can say, okay, we have 1 over 8. We start from greatest 1, k plus 1. Then k, k minus 1, k minus 2. That's so much good. Why? Because it is product of four consecutive integers and we can write it as something choose four but here we don't have four factorial in the denominator why we need four factorial in the denominator in the denominator <laughs> so because if we say for example m choose four if you simplify it is m m minus one one two three four because we have four here m minus three all over 4 factorial so because of this it will be 1 over 8 times so m times m minus 1 m minus 2 m minus 3 is 4 factorial times m choose 4 here m is what greatest one m here is exactly this one so it will be k plus 1 choose 4 and it will be what 4 factorial is 24 24 over 8 is 3 3 k plus 1 Choose for great. Now we can apply Hakistic or Jushichie identity. Okay, the problem wants this. Here k is 3, so it will be 3. k is 3. Replace k with 3, it will be 4. Choose 4. Now here k is 4, then it will be 3, 5, choose 4. And up to the last one, it will be 3. K is 40, it will be 41, choose 4, and now if we factor from 3, then we have 4, choose 4, plus 5, choose 4, plus 41, choose 4. So let's see, our Hakistic identity was what? Okay, Hakistic identity, or you should share that one to wants to help us is this identity okay so it will be what three can you tell me r here is what n here is what so it's simple because look first one r choose r r is four on the last one 41 n so n 41 so if you use the identity it will be n plus one choose r plus one 42 choose five now the problem says find the remainder of this number when divided by 1000, it means last three digits. Okay, you can calculate this part by yourself, but I want to show you a, an important idea we can call this. One, two, three, four, five. Over five factorial, which will be five, four, three, two, one. Okay, three. 3 we cancel 5 4 20 times 2 40 we cancel okay now we want to calculate the product of these numbers because we need last three digits so let's calculate at first 41 42 times 1 times 2 4 4 times 2 8 4 times 4 16 we don't need the next digits because only last three digits are important this point this thing is important some students calculate 8 plus 4, 12, 7, and it will be 7, 2, 2, last 3 digits. The next one, 39 times 38. If you multiply 8 times 9, 72, we have 7, 8 times 3, 24, plus 7, 3, 1, 3, 9, 27, 2, 11. Okay, it will be 2, 8, 4. Okay, the point now here is so much important here. Let me write 4, 8, 2. I write rest with pink. Okay, 722 two times 482. You say 224, 2816. We have 1248 plus 19. The next one, 224, 6. You don't continue because we only want last three digits. 7 times 2, 14. So here, look, we found easily the answer. It's 4. 6 plus 4, 10. We have 1 here. 1 plus 9, 10. 16, 20. So the last three digit is 0. Zero four. If you had any question about the solution of this problem or any other things, because there are, because there are some important ideas in all Olympiads, 
like high key six identity, some spatial identity, some ideas. If you had any question, feel free to send message to my WhatsApp number in the description and comments. Also, you can use my playlist of Harvard, Stanford problems and other Olympiad problems. Okay, please don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel and thanks for watching my videos and for your support. Bye.